Jerusalem, Jerusalem, Herzlich willkommen zu unserer ersten Online Assembly und der Assembly des dritten Quartals. Dieses Quartal haben wir neue, unangenehme, aber auch schöne Erfahrungen gesammelt. We hope that you've been keeping safe during these difficult and uncertain times. We have had good and some bad times during the year. On behalf of all the students, I'd like to thank 
teachers for continuing to support us and teach us and provide us the help that we need in order for us to do well, no matter the current circumstances. Please enjoy today's assembly. I'd like to hand over to our headmaster, Mr. Lachner. So, einen schönen guten Morgen auch von meiner Seite. Uh, welcome, dear students, dear colleagues and parents. This again is a very extraordinary assembly in a very extraordinary time. So, we are broadcasting from my office uh, and it's quite busy. We have prefects here and Mr. Van Weg is also around. Uh, and we had a big discussion. Should we do an assembly? Should we not do an assembly? But since we are announcing the prefects, which is a highlight of the whole school, school year, we decided um, to make an assembly, and even if it's an online assembly. So welcome, wherever you are. I know some people are in Germany, some are in Mozambique, some are at the school, and some are at home. Welcome to this assembly. I am, and probably I'm not the only one, very grateful to inform you that we have reached the end of the third term. The last few months have been an extraordinary part of your school life and an extraordinary experience for all of us. But even as an IT teacher, I must say, honestly, I'm really tired of spending all day long in front of screens and talking hours and hours to profile pictures. So hopefully this will be the last time for the next weeks. Overall, I think we have coped quite well with this challenging time at least better than most of the German schools in Germany and even many schools in South Africa. This was only possible through the joint efforts of you as students, as parents and as staff of the DSJ. I would like to thank you very, very much for your commitment and your dedication during the last difficult months. In a normal assembly, there would be applause now, uh, but I think it's very, very difficult to... Uh, <laughs> oh, Thank you very much. So it works. Um, doesn't mean we do all the assemblies uh, uh, which is, uh, digitally in the future. But thanks for the applause, but they were forced to. Okay. <laughs> Over the past few months, we have all experienced the advantages and the disadvantages of e-learning very clearly and sometimes more than we wanted. Some have coped very well, some have suffered greatly from the lack of social context, and still others have had great difficulties in motivating themselves and working on their own. This fact is also reflected, unfortunately, in the marks at the end of the third term. But we insisted on writing tests at school because we wanted a valid feedback of your learning processes as a basis for further decisions. A few students were even able to improve their marks during the third term, which is really quite amazing. But unfortunately, in a much larger number of cases, the marks dropped, and sometimes dramatically. The number of blue letters we have sent out shows this very clearly. This was one of the main reasons why we decided to offer as much face-to-face -face teaching as possible in the fourth term. Because if we continue with e-learning, we would probably be not able to compensate the gaps that already exist today. However, this is especially critical in subjects like math and the languages, German, English, Afrikaans and French. Catching up and closing these gaps will become a major task in the fourth term. Of course, e-learning also has many advantages and discussions are already ongoing on what we should and want to retain from the past months. But it also became very clear that e-learning is not equally suitable for all learners, for all grades, for all subjects and maybe perhaps not even for all teachers. The last month has been a very interesting experience, but all the surveys and discussions have shown that the majority of parents, learners and teachers want to return to a face-to-face -face teaching. And long 
for a little bit more of normality as we appreciated before the pandemic. We will try this after the holidays, but how much we succeed depends mainly on your behavior and on our behavior. We have more than 1,000 children and te te teenagers at our school after the holidays. And it is totally impossible for us teachers to constantly check that they are all adhering to the rules. Therefore, we are very dependent on you and on your reasonable behavior. We are glad and proud that up to now, not a single person was infected with the COVID-19 virus in our school. And we would like to keep this up that way as long as it's possible, even though we are opening again. And please remember, many people do not even realize that they are infected and can therefore easily infect others. Therefore, these rules are not just about protecting yourself, but also and above all to protect others. So even you do not, if you don't care so much about your own health, you should care about that of others. Finally, dear learners and dear parents and colleagues, one word to our students of the 12th grade. We are really sorry and regret that your school life ends with such a terrible year. You are completing the last school year of your life under such extremely difficult uh, conditions. On the other hand, I am also very impressed, and we are all very impressed, how successfully the majority of you have mastered this difficult situation so far. This cannot be said of everyone, but fortunately these are just singing cases. The vast majority of you have shown a high degree of personal responsibility, self-discipline and motivation during the last month, thus proving that you are already well prepared for life after school. And believe me, we are trying everything to organize a festive valediction and a matric ball for you as far as possible in this challenging time. By now, we are one speech closer now to our well-deserved holidays, and I wish you all a lot of recreation during the next three weeks. Please do me only one favor and stay healthy. Thank you. So now it looks like I invited the prefects to my office to get some applause, which is not true. They all have to say something. <laughs> okay, so yeah, as it is not uncommon and unusual at a German school abroad, from time to time, uh, we have to say farewell to some colleagues. And today, unfortunately, we have to bid farewell to a young colleague who has decided to leave South Africa. And I must be honest, if colleagues decided to leave South Africa, I'm not arguing usually with them because uh, usually they have their reasons. She stayed with us almost four years, and she's already the second colleague this year who wants to start a new phase of her life in the Middle East. In this case, it's Dubai. She is and was at our school an extremely dedicated teacher and colleague, and has been very popular with both the students and the colleagues. Therefore, we will miss her and her new school in Dubai is lucky to have her. Thank you very much for your dedication during your years at the DSJ and farewell, Mrs. Young. So, Mr. Van Weg is, yeah, he got just a message from Mrs. Young. This is not planned, so this is live as you see. And now he wants to read the WhatsApp and then he wants to address you, right? Thanks a lot, Mr. Bachmeier. Uh, Mrs. Young couldn't be at school today, but she did send me a poem that she would like me to read out uh, to everyone at the DSJ. The poem is called May You Always. May your smile be always present. May your skies be always blue. May your path 
be ever upward, and may your heart be ever true. May your dreams be full of bursting, and may your steps be always sure. May the fire in your soul blaze on forevermore. May you live to meet ambition, and may you strive to pass each test. May you find the love your life deserves, and may you always have the best. May your happiness be plentiful, and may your regrets be few. May you always have a best friend, and may you always just be you. Mrs. Young added to this poem, to my incredible classes, it hurts my heart to say goodbye, but I will never forget all the wonderful times that we had together in class. You will always be my sunshine. I will miss you, Mrs. Young. Thanks a lot, Tammy, for all the time and the effort and all the love that you brought to our school. And on that note, um, I would ask, like to ask Tembi Mkune, who's sitting here now, to entertain us with a piece that she pre-recorded especially for this assembly. Thanks a lot, Tembi. Tembi for another item on the program. Uh, I would like to congratulate the following learners who took part in the 2020 English Olympiad. Mrs. Boota would like to say thank you to all the people who attended, who participated in the AG and also took part in the examination. And she would also like to extend a welcome for learners to join the Olympiada for 2021. If you could please speak to Mrs. Buerta to sign up. The results for this year's Olympiada were as follows. A merit certificate going to Maliso Mzamo and David Schmidt. 
bronze certificates are going to Taten Dadlali, Ushla Murile Makubela, Daniel Naidu, Tembe Lichle Mtunu, Nikola Volasek, and Kayla Tondo. Well done to them. A silver certificate goes to Mia Gardner, Isabel Organ, and Shalom Mvula. And the cherry on the top for the first time ever at the DSJ, according to my knowledge, a diamond certificate has been awarded to Beth Macquarie. A huge congratulations to you, Beth, and also to the rest of the participants. <laughs> well done. And on that note, I would like to hand back to Tembi, who would like to introduce a video compiled by the Matric Group of 2020. Um, yes, this video has been compiled by the Prefix team of 2020. Um, yeah, also this Quartal was for the Perfecten team of Großer Bedeutung. Um, neue Perfecten wurden gewählt, jedoch auch alte verabschiedet. Um, das Perfecten team hat auf Instagram Talents aufgestellt, wobei auch ihr Schüler und Schülerinnen selbst teilgenommen hat. Um, jetzt würde das Team euch gerne ein Video zeigen, das wir zur Reflexion des vergangenen Quartals und auch zur Motivation für das nächste Quartal zusammengestellt haben. Wir hoffen, dass ihr das Video genießt. We have 270, so we are missing 100 units. Yeah. Some say the coolest walls are made of glass. Considering the recent lockdown, this may seem like our harsh reality. The truth is, the coolest walls are the ones created by our mind. Some of you may feel this pandemic has robbed you of your time. More of you may feel it has robbed you of your freedom. Others may feel it has made schoolwork a nightmare. And yes, these are all horrible things. But they are things that right now we can't control. So let's focus on what we can control. We can control our own mindset. Because mind over matter matters. We can control our work ethic. Because we either do it with passion. Or we don't do it at all. It takes many bricks to build a wall. So start today. And build your fortress of change. We can. And we will get through this. Together. We hope that you enjoyed, and I would now like to hand over to Mr. Bachmeier. So, liebe Zuhörer, wie ich schon erwähnt habe, wir kommen für viele zu einem, zu einem Höhepunkt des Schuljahres. Um, und zwar die Bekanngabe der Präfekten um, für, die, für das nächste Jahr. Wir haben eine Wahl durchgeführt, wie Sie alle wissen. Und ich verlese jetzt die neuen Präfekten für das Jahr 2021 der Deutschen Internationalen Schule Johannesburg. Ich beginne bei Klasse 10 und bei den Damen. Als erstes möchte ich herzlich gratulieren zu dem Posten und zu der Aufgabe des Präfekten, der Präfektin Nadja Giesnud. Als zweites Natalia Osovic. Und als drittes Shekina Mvula. Zu den Jungen, Klasse 10. Als erster Daniel Burini. Zweiter Kiam Hatel. Dritter 
David Schmidt. Und ich komme nun zur Klasse 11, zu den Mädchen. Erste Präfektin, herzlichen Glückwunsch, Shalom Mwula. Zweite, Kaila Tondo. Dritte, Atara Tremel. Vierte, Assange, Assange Hutto. Herzlichen Glückwunsch, er kennt mit Person in die Tembe Mjunu. Und herzlichen Glückwunsch als letzte Klasse 11, Nikola Wolafsek. Und nun zu den Jungen, Klasse 11. Erster, herzlichen Glückwunsch, James Gordon. Nummer zwei, Anil Schwitter. Ebenso gewählt Ntando Sebekulu. Als vierter, herzlichen Glückwunsch, Markus Holtmann. Als fünfter, Akili Emungu. Und es gibt noch einen Platz zu vergeben. Herzlichen Glückwunsch, Philipp Dresel. Ich wünsche allen Präfekten eine glückliche Hand und viel Glück für die neue Aufgabe, die sehr verantwortungsvoll ist. Und ich wünsche mir eine gute Zusammenarbeit zwischen der Schulleitung und den neuen Präfekten. Nochmal seitens der Schulleitung herzlichen Glückwunsch und alles Gute. Dankeschön. I would also like to say congratulations to the new Prefects team, also from my side. Don't believe that you're going to have it so easy. Uh, the holidays will end and you will step up onto campus and the outgoing Prefects team is awaiting you uh, to make sure that you know what your place is and uh, that you have all the guidelines to fulfill your new duties with honor and with appreciation. And then with that word, I'd like to introduce Daniel and Kane to say goodbye to end off this assembly for today. It was a short assembly, but believe, I think uh, you will all believe me that we've had enough time in front of screens for this term. So Daniel and Kane, thanks a lot for ending our first online assembly. Unsere Assembly is yet to end. Ich möchte den Schülern gratulieren. Während, während der pa Pandemie habt ihr euch gut geschlagen. Ihr habt die Masken getragen und so der soziale Distanz eingehalten. Ihr habt euch an das Online-Learning angepasst und ihr verdient einen Applaus und schöne lange Ferien. Off, I would like to I would like to wish all my fellow seniors good luck for the coming exams and I urge you all to please use this time to prepare for these exams as we know this hasn't been the best year for us but it is our job to make the best of it in terms of our results. I would also like to congratulate the new prefix team. Yes believe some nice things coming your way when you return from my prefix team. I hope you enjoy it maybe you won't. And another thing if you thought you enjoyed the Matrix dancing for the Jerusalem song, I'm sure you'll enjoy the stuff of the DSJs even more. Enjoy your holidays. Thank you. Aber jetzt ist keine Klasse mehr hier 120 und um das ist das. Ich kann das so lösen. Also, was ist das hier?
passiert jetzt? Ich denke, wir müssen das klären oder was? Keine Ahnung. Ist das wichtig? Scheint mir das irgendwie nicht. Ja. Und dann, ich habe hier noch andere Sachen, wenn man jetzt auf diese Zahlen hier mhm. guckt und sich dann überlegt, dass wir das da. Nee, jetzt pass mal auf, Andreas sagt, das ist ganz wichtig jetzt hier. Wir müssen ja jetzt halt hier diesen USB-Stick anschauen. Aber das ist das Ding. Keine Ahnung, keine Ahnung. Ich weiß nicht. Ich weiß nicht. Ich weiß nicht. Oh, no, no. 